I got actually one being mailed to me right now from, uh, I think it's uh, New York, Delaware. Uh, spider found bananas. Situation is that, um, actually, let's go back. You get a spider here with these red, red hairs on its chelicery. Well, you go to an entomologist or a arachnologist, they don't have the literature for South America and for Latin America, so they go to the only source they have that has international stuff that's on the bookshelf, and that's the spiders of uh, the, uh, the, can, the Golden Guide to Spiders, which is the only thing they have. They look at this picture here, this spider threatening people, and they see that it has red fangs, and it says, it's poisonous. So then all of a sudden, you start this whole hysteria event again. And so, yes, indeed, these are Phoenutria spiders. They can be dangerous. But this is actually, oops, Cupidinus chapiensis. First, it was only described in 2006. Well, we didn't even know about it up here in, in North America. It's, it's virtually harmless. And it's in Central America, not South America. This is Phoenutria. It's in South America, not Central America. We don't get that many bananas from South America. Also, they're on, in, in the coast of Brazil. Most of the bananas we get are from Ecuador, the west coast. So we're not really getting these guys in bananas very much. Um, and so in one study of 422 bites of Phenutria, there was only one death. 96% of the bite victims were 10 to, se in the 10 to 70 year old uh, range, just had minor symptoms. But they always talk about the, the deadly banana spiders. But yeah, it killed one child out of 400. That, that's not something to you know, sneeze at. But then again, you have not, most of the people being nailed have no problem with it. And most of the specimens are uh, in the, this country of P. bolivienses. They're smaller and not very toxic, and they're from Ecuador. 